Good morning, everyone. It is currently 5 a.m., the same time I did this yesterday, and I am out again because I'm actually going to meet up with Aiden right now, and someone requested that I did a tour of Derry, like where I'm from. I don't know if I've done this before, but you know what? Perfect time to do it. Okay, it was actually Triplet Mom 2790 They said, watching your all-nighter video, can you please take us on a tour of your town? I want to see the buildings and the scenery. My dream location is to live somewhere like there or to visit Scotland and Ireland, as my ancestors are mostly there. I'm living through your video. I'm so jealous. Such beautiful buildings and scenery, and it's so peaceful. Now, that is one of my favorite things about Derry. It is quite peaceful whenever it's like the early hours of the morning and stuff. I think that's pretty much everywhere as well. Oh my god, the view of the water, the buildings. So you know what? I'm listening and I'm gonna meet up with Aiden right now and he is gonna take over the filming and we are gonna do this video and hope that it's exactly what you wanted. Triplet Mom 2790, I think it was. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but my favorite thing about sunrises is the fact that it looks different every single day because today it kind of looks like dark and gloomy and stuff like that, but yet yeah, there's something so eerie about it. Okay, so Aiden is currently on camera. Aiden is in my class. I am going to give a tour of dairy. So right behind me here is the free dairy corner. There's currently the Black Lives Matter one, which is very important. They normally put different things here if there's different protests or something going on. Recently, there's been a lot of Black Lives Matter protests, so it's very important that that's up and it should stay up all year round. It shouldn't just be like a couple month thing. Anyway, we'll talk about that in the video. Stay home, stay safe. That's on what? That's on, period. So as you can see, this is like one of the things if you come to Derry, like you want to see this. So it's like really just you and I entering free Derry and this is so monumental within Derry and right now it talks about the NHS because saluting the key workers so okay so as I said before I have a discord and it is absolutely insane and I told them that I'm act <laughs> <laughs> do you mind <laughs> do you mind so I told them that I was going to be joining the VC for this video so let's actually join that I I think it's gonna be chaotic. There's a lot of people on it right now, so let me join and we'll say hello. Oh no. Hi everyone. I don't know what they're doing. What is going on? Okay, guys, can I? <laughs> guys. Can I get, uh, so what Yo. if I'm the monster? I'll count you down, please. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. That was so chaotic. I'm hanging up on y'all. I hate y'all. Bye. <laughs> As you can see, they're very chaotic. So the fact that we all do this a couple times a day where I'll join and I'll get them to sing So What If I'm the Monster with me and honestly one of my favorite things that we do together. Super chaotic, super glitchy. All around good vibes. Okay, so we came down this street, right? And there's a dog right up here. We won't go back up to it, but we don't know if it has an owner or whatever. It like was following us. So I'm happy that like... Oh no, is it gonna come down? <laughs> Day. Anyway, so we came down the street, and so I thought this might be fun to show because everyone was talking about the buildings in Derry. Oh my god, the <laughs> Like, if you want to do a collab, like, PayPal me, but like, nah, I'm not doing any free shit. <laughs> so anyway, like, all the buildings look like this, where it's kind of like old brickwork and stuff. So these are like shops, and if you come down here, there's like tattoo places, salons, um, different edgy shops are kind of here as well, which is like, you know what. But as you can see, like, the building style is really old throughout every single building in Derry, so that might be something fun to note as well. I don't know. But as you can see, it's literally just like lines of them, and then if you look down there as well, it's just all brickwork. So... Fun. Okay, so down here is Waterloo Street. Now, this is where I was in yesterday's vlog, and everyone was like, oh my god, it looks so chill, it looks so peaceful. So, it's literally just like a selection of shops, and you know what? On a really sunny day, there'll be hundreds of people in there and it is a lot to handle. And this is also where like really weird old people feed birds and stuff like that. So if you're afraid of birds, do not come here because the old people love to feed them. Also, um, an old lady was feeding the birds once and I told her to stop doing it because it was dirty. And she screamed at me and told me that they were her friends. So there's some characters in this time. So if you come up here then, if you see pictures of dairy on 
Google Images, it will always be the Guild Hall. Now, that is right down here. Everyone says it looks like I'm from London and it's the Big Ben. No, it's the cheap version of the Big Ben. It's the dairy version. It's called the Guild Hall. If you also look here, you see the dairy walls. I'm pretty sure it's the only place in Europe, right, that has the walls though? I think so. Tower Museum in there. For all you geeks, represent. I hated that. Yeah, so the Derry Walls. Um, they are very historic, and if you come to Derry, that's like what you want to see. That's where it's at. So, um, really historic, really dope. Love that. I'm probably not the right tour guide for this, but you know what? Look it. And here we are. Bravo. The Guild Hall. But yeah, look. Just like a really old style building. Being inside this building though is so intimidating, so I would not recommend at all. Okay, so now we're in the Peace Garden. Is that what this is called? Yeah, yeah. and then, what's it called? The Peace Garden. Peace Garden, wow, I'm so informed. Um, Peace Flame over here, it's normally lit. Lit, whoa, I hated that. This is what my brain's like when I don't sleep, so just vibe with it, honestly. We're all here for an experience. A bad experience, I didn't specify. So it's really nice in here, and then you see the Guild Hall in the back. Now the Guild Hall is one of my favorite buildings within Derry, just because, like, look at it. Like, that's so dope, it's so pretty, so. And also this entire section is really nice, but it will always be packed on a hot day, so I'll always avoid in here, you'll never see me in here, so. That's the thing on that, honestly. Even, like, seeing here, because you can see the Tower Museum in the back as well, which is another old-style building, and then the Guild Hall, and then, like, you see these old style buildings as well. I think everything about Derry is just really old school and I think that's one thing that people from other countries always really like whenever I talk about Derry just because, um, or show it because it looks so different than what they're used to. A lot of people have been comparing stuff that I've been showing to Amsterdam and I haven't been to Amsterdam so I can't fact check that. But. Okay, so here is up the walls again. Now, I want to keep reiterating like how like iconic and historic these walls are and as you can see here the cannons and there are so many of them lined up and I always like this part because it's really green as you can see over here and then you see the guild hall right behind it and I think this is like like peak like peak peak like the <laughs> like well done well done. Whenever you keep coming down here as well, it shows for like a really good view of the city. So, Mr. Aiden, do you want to show them the view? POV, you're walking through the dairy walls. And so, as I say all the time, there will be hundreds of people down here on a sunny day. And you know what? I fuck with that, honestly. Oh my god, this is a proper POV. POV, you're staring at the sky. POV, Aiden's doing POV for way too long. <laughs> okay, so we came up the dairy walls. As you can see, it's like a brave walk, honestly. So the guild hall's down there. But like, look at this view. It's really pretty. Ma, who the fuck is awake? Oh yeah, so this was the dog we were talking about earlier. Like, I'm happy it's thriving, I think. I don't know. It's really cute though. Hello. It's really cute. Ugh. Okay, so here's always one of my favorite places to be in Derry because you have such an amazing view on either side. Like you look behind me and you have all of this and then you come this way and then you have all of this and then down there, guilt hole and down here, more. So I really, really, really love this part and also just like look at the sky right now like bomb. The sky's serving today. Interesting. Okay, so I was kind of saying this in my last video as well, but if you're from Derry, everyone knows everyone. It's very much so one of them cities. People were asking me in the comments, like, what is the community like here? And I think it's very... Yeah, I think it's okay to say everyone knows everybody. I think any small city will be like that. There's a lot of people who are related in this city, like families tend to live in the same cul-de-sacs and rows of houses and stuff like that, which I think is different to other places. I don't know, I don't really know <laughs> the dynamic, but there was an influx of tourists coming to Derry right before the full coronavirus thing happened because it is a really nice city and there has been funding put into it. Now there should be like a lot more funding put into it, in my opinion anyway. And so the entire tourism has just been like stopped here, which is like really gonna affect our economy because Derry really needs it. Derry last year, what parade was it got canceled? Was it St. Paddy's Day? 
Simpatis Day. Yeah. yeah, so dairy thrives during two times of the year. St. Paddy's Day and Halloween. You can agree, right? I can agree. So, St. Paddy's Day parade, St. Patrick's Day, that's what it was, got cancelled because of coronavirus. And it's not like, oh, like a little parade or whatever. Like, there are hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah, is that pretty fair to say? Yeah. There are so many people, parades, parties, everywhere. So, whenever that got cancelled, everyone was like, this is detrimental to dairy. So, everyone is now worrying because if our Halloween gets cancelled as well, Halloween in dairy is like a couple week long thing, whereas St. Patty's Day is just like a one day thing. So, see if our Halloween gets cancelled, that's it. <laughs> like, I'm fucking done. But um, everyone was wondering how Dairy was going to recover from the St. Paddy's Day stuff being cancelled. And everyone thought, maybe come around September it'll be better and, and we'll throw another St. Paddy's Day. But it's looking like by the time that lockdown and everything can fully ease, I know it's already starting to, I think by the time that will happen, it'll be St. Paddy's Day. So that's an issue. Okay, so everyone was asking me to show more of the river. Now, this is the Peace Bridge and then this is the river. So... It looks so different than yesterday because it's more bright today and stuff like that. So this is honestly one of my favorite things to see in Derry just because the reflections and everything. It literally looks like a Bob Ross painting. By the way, I love Bob Ross. What's your opinion on Bob Ross? Bob Ross is a babe. Anyway, this looks like one of his paintings. It's top tier. Okay, so now we're in Everton Square and the actual square is right behind us here. But over here you see the city view and it's always so gorgeous and the reflection of the water in the early morning is always really nice as well like I think everything about this view is just so nice and like the reflections and everything like it's so pretty especially early in the morning so this is definitely one of my favorite like viewpoints of the city like a lot of people here my subscribers talk to me and they're like oh here's the like the skyline of New York and all you know what here's the viewpoint in Derry <laughs> you know what that's even better though in my opinion like Let's include Derry in this narrative. Derry's here, New York is there. Deal with it, Americans. Don't attack me. <laughs> so Aiden just pointed something out and I think it's really true. So whenever you're like silent. Oh my God, it's like not light anymore. <laughs> anyway, when you're silent, you can hear every single thing that's happening over there. So there's a lorry driving over there, like a big truck and we can hear it over here. So whenever it's like 9 a.m. on, you can't. So everything is just so peaceful around this hour, and that's one of my favorite things about being awake during this time and stuff, which is why pulling all-nighters are it's top tier, in my opinion, anyway, so. And then there's another cannon right over here. So you know what? It's lit. Okay, everyone, so it's now about to hit 7 a.m. I had a really fun day out. I'm just showing you around dairy. I hope you enjoyed it. A lot of people were asking for this as well as that one user. Um, I hope this was everything you wanted. Again, thank you to Aiden for helping me film this as well. I just had a really chill, nice morning. So I'm going to go home, start working, and I hope you all have a great day.